Dream Journal apps on your phone or a pen and paper dream journal? Which is better? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Tifero. It's me Matt here and today we're talking about dream journaling. So if you've been following this channel for a while and you're familiar with the lucid dreaming process, you'll know that it's a good idea to journal your dreams. You can use this for dream analysis, for spotting dream signs, but also journaling your dreams and journaling even if you don't remember any dreams will help you to actually remember those dreams in the first place and improve your dream recall. So it's a vitally important part of the process. But I've been asked this question a lot, which is better, a pen and paper journal or one on your phone, one of the journal apps? So there are pros and cons to each. You know, with a pen and paper journal, for one, it's a lot easier to write a lot more. You can fill pages and pages and pages and it's kind of more comfortable to write with a pen or a pencil, whatever, at least for me, than writing on a phone. Maybe that's just me, maybe I'm just old and <laughs> not used to technology anymore or something. But it's a little bit nicer to write it out like that. Also, there is another advantage, and that is the fact that if you wake up in the middle of the night, you don't get that you know harsh light from your phone screen. You just write it down, and it doesn't bother you. It doesn't really disturb your sleep. Now, on the other hand, a phone app has the advantage that it's kind of a lot easier to just jot down some notes. You know, you don't have to get up, open the book, you know, find the pencil, you know, struggle to actually see what you're writing and think how you're going to write it out. You just get your phone, open the app, and you just type a few notes in there quickly. So you can do it really quickly before you forget the dream, and then you can just go back to sleep without really stirring much. Now, Phone light is an issue, you know, if you turn on your bright phone in the middle of the night when you wake up from a dream, there is a good chance that it's going to stir you from sleep a bit too much and make it difficult to fall back asleep. But what I find helpful is minimising the brightness of my screen. I turn the brightness right down to the lowest setting so that, you know, it's not so bright that it really wakes me up. And also what you can do is you can install a colour filter on your phone that blocks out the blue light at night. And when you do that, you know, when it actually turns on in the middle of the night when you actually turn it on it's not gonna you know blind you with all this blue light and it's not gonna wake you up because blue light interferes with melatonin production and so makes it more difficult to go back to sleep so what do i use well personally i use a phone app i use the app called lucidity and i've actually done two videos about this app i did a video about the original app before it received some updates and i did a video about the new updated version which is a lot lot better so if you want to you should check out those videos they're on my channel just search lucidity app um, I'll probably include a link in the description or something, but if I don't, just search my channel for Lucidity app and look at the review and look at the updated version. It's a really good app, it's completely free, and there is a premium version with some additional features, but you know, if you don't feel like paying, there's everything that you need in the free version. Now what I'll occasionally do, if I have a really in-depth dream, one that I really want to remember in more detail, then I feel like a phone app kind of doesn't always cut it, because I just find it hard to write masses and masses of text on my phone. It's just not comfortable to me. I prefer you know, writing at a keyboard or writing you know, pen and paper. So if I have a really memorable dream and I really just want to have all of the detail, then I will then rewrite that dream in more detail on my computer or on a bit of paper. But what I initially do is I'll open up Lucidity on my phone and I'll start by just briefly describing the dream as quickly as possible and then adding in some more detail as needed. It allows me to get the dream down as quickly as possible and so minimizes the chances of me forgetting the dream, forgetting parts of the dream and just not being able to put it all in there. But what about you? Which should you use? Well, it's ultimately up to you, but I do think that having an app on your phone just to take the notes, the basic notes about your dream at least, is you know the best way to do it and it allows you to remember more of your dreams and get that information down when it's as fresh as possible. I do also suggest though having some kind of pen and paper or on your computer journal for writing those dreams down in more detail, analysing them and so on, if that's more comfortable to you like it is for me. So in short, really the answer is kind of both, but with a preference for the phone apps. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now if you'd like to learn how to have your own lucid dreams, I have this 14 part lucid dreaming audio course. It's called Advanced Lucidity and basically what I designed the course to do is to teach you to actually master lucid dreaming to have your first lucid dream and to learn different methods to do it, to actually control those dreams and do the things that you want to do. Because when you get lucid, you know, the first time, you have all of these things that you want to do and sometimes it's just too much. You have to figure out, you know, how to spawn characters, how to fly, how to, you know, change your dream location, 
how to actually have more of those lucid dreams if you just got lucid spontaneously. So what I designed Advanced Lucidity to do is basically to capture all of that into one course and make it easy for you to go through it step by step without having to worry about what you need to do next because it's all there in order and easy to follow. If that sounds interesting to you, then check out the link up there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. If you want to keep watching, pick one of the videos on the screen. Go watch that and I will see you soon. Take care.